This is the advantage of this. It is a work suit. Paul Brody says too often people only reach for safety gear in an emergency. In Atlantic Canada, there's an average of 13 deaths a year in the fishing industry. Brody thinks some of those could be prevented. You should have this on, on the deck of the ship. You shouldn't be rushing to the wheelhouse with smoke rolling out the door to try and find something to put on. You're already there. For several years, he's been helping a Norwegian colleague develop this suit, an idea that started in the 90s. This is the fourth prototype. It is a, not a survival suit, that the big bulky things you put on and jump off an oil rig. This is not that. This is something that you can wear, and should something happen, within seconds, you're ready to go. The material is similar to that of a windbreaker. It has neoprene cuffs and thick zippers. It's waterproof and also allows someone to float. So, at this point, people on the deck are still looking for their safety devices if, they ha if they're not wearing them. Whereas you're ready to help anybody else, you've got enormous flexibility. You're not overheating because this is cushion of air. Tested in Europe, the goal was to design something that could keep people afloat until help arrived, and it includes some safety features. It even winch you up onto the deck of a little boat. The suit only weighs about three kilograms. Three companies in Europe are already producing it, and it's available in Norway. Okay. Brody says the safety gear needed to be flexible uh, enough for people test. to wear it sailing or kayaking or while working on boats. It should be available in Canada in a few months, and he hopes people who earn their living on the water take note. If you only have to stand here and watch, then you will find almost nobody with a PFD on out there fishing all summer. Elizabeth McMillan, CBC News, Bootlears Point, Nova Scotia.